Okay, let's go ahead and do this number five. And in doing so, we'll also kind of review confidence interval basics. Um, with this problem, we're talking about the men and the women and the proportion of them that say they do not get enough time for themselves. Well, we've got a margin of error of 3%, and then we get a, a poll that gives us 97% of women say that they do not get enough time for themselves. So, um, why can we not just say 47 is the answer? And of course, that is because samples vary from sample to sample. And this 47% is just the results of one sample. And um, they, that is not necessarily the true proportion. All right, explain clearly what 95% confidence means. Now, we have a song on this exact saying, saying right here. And so you pretty much have to memorize this, and that's why I gave a song on it to help you. It is the Can't Buy Me Love song. Let's say 95%, 95%. Of all 95%, 95% intervals of confidence, so that's confidence intervals, they contain the true parameter of interest. And the parameter of interest is, in this case, the proportion of adult women that say they do not get enough time for themselves. So that's the parameter that we are interested in estimating. All right, so this is kind of, remember we had this picture where, you know, we had somebody's sample and then their margin of error up and down. And another person's sample and their margin of error up and down. And so on. All samples and the margin of errors up and down. Well, we would expect 95% of all of these intervals, of all of these 95% confidence intervals to contain this true pro proportion, whatever that is. You know, we don't really actually know where that is, but we would expect 95% of all of these 95% intervals would capture or contain that true answer. All right, next thing is about the margin of error results for the men was four percentage points instead of three. So it was more. And the question is, why is that margin of error bigger? And so that is going to come from um, a situation that has to do with the formula. So I want you to take a look down here. I wrote the formula out. Confidence interval is your statistic, which what we have in this case is p hat, plus or minus this critical value, which this critical value, of course, comes from how confident you are. Okay, and that's that critical value comes from how confident you are. And then here, and then the standard deviation, which for proportions is square root of P, 1 minus P over N. Well, this is the margin of error. This is the part that you go up and the part that you go down from your P hat. See, here is your p hat. The margin of error is the part you go up and the part you go down. So this distance right here is the margin of error. And that's what we have right here in this section. And you can see that because of the standard deviation, n changes the size of this margin of error. And since the sample size for men is smaller, since this is a smaller number on the bottom of the fraction, that makes the standard deviation actually bigger. So if this number n is smaller, this margin of error is bigger. So that's what happened, and that's why the men's margin of error is larger.